Hey everybody, Wyatt with Still Rolling Electric. Uh, today we're looking at a 72 volt charger. This one is from Alien Rides. Um, the other day I went to go use it and it was just displaying 78 volts and it wouldn't recognize a battery connected to it. So I um, diagnosed it to be um, the little 110 to 220 switch. This one I got off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Um, so the charger was just showing 78 volts and I played around with it a little bit and if I held it to one side it would bump up to 84. So I have it kind of uh, taped to one side to work for now but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the Phillips screws on both sides of the charger. I'm going to open it up and uh, we're going to replace uh, the 220 to 110 switch in this charger today. Let's get started. So some basic tools that I'm using, I got some flux, some solder, a soldering iron, and I'm using a Phillips standard screwdriver, or excuse me, just a Phillips screwdriver um, to open up the top case here. So we got the top case opened up. I am actually going to go ahead and remove um, the bottom set of screws also to pull off the bottom side. Alrighty, all the screws are taken off. So just be careful with it. Um, because there are wires connected. Um, but we are gonna be working on this side. So the switch is right here. It's gonna be two Phillips screws holding the switch in. So I'm gonna remove the screw. There's normally two of them. I only have one in it. And now that I've opened it up, so mine's taped together right here. Um, but this is the same switch. Um, Amazon um, was nice enough to sell uh, this exact one we needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape here that I have put on here. Alrighty. So it's got three sets of um, poles on the one that's in the charger and the new one also has three sets of poles. So I'm gonna go ahead and just solder it in exactly on how this one is. Let's see if I can get a close up here. So as you can see, one ear is broken off this one and uh, it just it was worn out, which is odd because I never use this switch. I'm always running 110, but we're gonna go ahead and replace it. And uh, that's gonna get the charger um, back in business. And uh, this charger is really meaningful to me because I use it mostly for everything on my when I'm charging. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the positive and negative and I'm gonna solder on this new one, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in time-lapse and I'll get back to you. Alrighty, so I got the positive soldered onto the new switch. I am just doing one wire at a time, so that way I don't get them mixed up. So now I'm gonna remove the black one off of the old switch and put it on the new switch and get things installed and get this thing turned on. I'm gonna put it back into time, la time lapse. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more tools onto that tool list I spoke about. I end up using some wire cutters and also a razor blade. Um, so I got it all soldered in. Let's see if I can get a close up here of it for you. So this is if your charger is having troubles with the 220 to 110 switch. It's always something to check. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and put power to it now. We're looking for it to display 84 volts, not connected up to anything. So here goes some power. And it is displaying 84 volts. So the charger's good now. Wow, what a relief. And the switch was only like eight bucks. Link will be in the description for that little, for this little switch. And uh, yeah, you guys, appreciate you watching. Have a good rest of your day. Hopefully this leads you in the right direction. And uh, remember, ride safe out there. See ya.